Hey beauty fam, I'm coming to you all today with another video. Um, today is going to be a tutorial on me using the Wet n Wild. Um, no, it's new to me and I'm going to do like a wear test and probably come back to you all. And I already more 10.0.6 Mattifying um, Prime My Face. Yes, I use a lot of primer, so don't judge me. And if you would like uh, I, this eye look, um, just comment below and I'll get that out to y'all. I might still do it without y'all asking. I like to make sure my face is primed. Then I'm going to go in with the foundation. And this foundation supposed to be good for, you know, photos like Looking for um, I'm looking for uh, oh, they go right there. I'm over looking. It. So and yeah, um, this is what I ordered offline because most of the drug. My first impressions by just smelling it because I smell mostly everything. But we go get it a try. I mean, it got a pretty good coverage with just that one layer I didn't use. I love a full coverage look, but now that my skin is actually clearing up uh, from bad acne, I really don't have a full, full face, but I do like that full coverage uh, look. And right now, this one with my dark spark, dark spot. like to see it in. like I said like paint Drag that thing down in there. I'm gonna get up and up close and personal so y'all can see how one layer of it looks. I think that's good enough for me. Um, uh, um concealer corrector up in medium peach i got another one somewhere in medium tawny or something like that that's probably lighter but this gonna be okay for today you know it's storming outside and 
And today is Sunday. The rights to this music that you may hear in the background. Sponge, shine sponge, blend that concealer. My nose is running. My room is hot, so I had a fan on, and it don't always be good because every time I turn the fan on, like my nose get to running. Now that we got that on, I'm going to go ahead and go in with, I need to go ahead and set my under eyes, but I'm going to wait a few. I'm going to go ahead and go in with this uh, Mega Glow Makeup Contour Stick um, and Wears Walnut. Test it out. Hopefully, it's you know some good. Okay. Yeah, and I'm heavy-handed. Um, I kind of go crud down just a little bit. But I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contour Palette and. I'm going to use this and this like the caramel and this is like the toffee milk. <laughs> it is kind of well it is like I'm going to tone that down with the actual yeah the baby is bright other than that right now I don't really have no just to blend out my contour turn it on the side brush Go in with my real technique brush. In that contour in good, where well, you won't be able to see like the difference between oh, the highlight and the um contour. Folks that know about makeup, so we might sure we cover up all them that look the lines, you know. this contour in and set my contour same contour palette with this color
I'm gonna go in with my Wet n Wild press. I'm sorry my camera went dead but um I finished off my video with well my makeup look with um setting my contour with this which is the perimeters of my face along with using my pressed powder and I also went in with the wet and wild um mega glow highlight in golden flower crown highlighted my face and I also finished up my um, eyes along with applying just some NYX butter gloss in fortune cookie and it is now 12 11 12 11 so I will be back later with my final review on this uh, foundation wet and wild look whatever so, see you in a few. Hey, beauty fam. It is now like 2.30. And I finished up my face around 12, 12-ish 12 maybe. And this is how it's looking. I'm going to get ready to go work out a little bit. And the only thing I'll probably do, because I know I'm going to sweat, is like black my face. But that about that's about it. And I'll come back later on with the final results of this foundation. But good so far. I'm back with my final review on the Wet n Wild foundation. It's been seven hours. I've had it on since 12.30 noon time. And this is what it's looking like now. I don't want y'all to think I'm oily because I'm not. But, whew, give me a second. I'm tired. I went to work out. It's hot outside. I had to walk back. So, I'm still sweating. So, forgive me for that. But I'm going to zoom y'all in. This ain't nothing but sweat. This is the final look of the foundation. Still looks good. So I would give the Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus Foundation. I give it a A, A minus, A plus, no A minus. I guess still in the A category, so it's good. But it's really a good foundation for $4.99 or $5.99. So if you're on a budget or whatever, I suggest you go out and get it because it's a real good foundation. And I just sweat it, and I still look like this. Still look good. Other than all this sweat that's on my face. So this concludes my first impressions of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. And until next time, beauty fam.